Welcome back children to our second session of 10th Standard Geography Chapter 1 Field Visit. Let's start our session with a beautiful thought. A dream will never become a reality if you do not wake up. Many are afraid to wake up and spoil their dreams. Wouldn't it be awesome to live your dream in lieu of sleeping your dream? Wake up. In our last session, we studied what is a field visit? What, what items will you take with you for a field visit? And how will you manage litter or waste during a field visit? Today, we will learn how to make a report on your field visit, importance of a field visit. Then, how to prepare a questionnaire for a field visit. I've also added one more question from your exam point of view. The question is, what precautions must be taken during a field visit? So let's move on to our fourth question, which is, make a report on your field visit. Now, try to understand the question first. What do we mean by the word report? Here, report simply means documentation or written account of things you have observed, heard, done or investigated during your field visit. So in short, it means documentation of the information carried out in the field. So when do you have to write a report? A field report is written only after collecting information or gathering information from the field visit. It helps to review your work systematically and acts as a reference for future field trips. Second, how to write a field report? Field report must be short, clear and informative with supportive data. One can use maps, tables and layouts, graphs, pictures, and photographs for the same. What's to be considered while writing a field report on different topics? In your exam, they may ask you to write a report on a visit to a village. So you can write a field report based on the following points. The second example of a field visit I've mentioned is visit to an institution. It could be a visit to a municipal corporation, gram panchayat, bank or any other office. Following points will help you to write a field report on the same. The third example that I've given is visit to any landscape. It could be a visit to a dam, beach, fort, river, etc. The following points will help you to write a report on the same. So if you observe the common points or the main steps which are a must in all field reports are as follows. 1. Title. Identify the purpose or objective of field visit. This is the title of the work and it usually has to be written in bold letters at the top of the report. 2. Introduction. Here you can write brief introduction of the subject under study. Explain what part of geography it relates to. For example, we have to write a report on visit to a village. So visit to a village falls under the branch of human geography. Then you can mention in your introduction the number of days the field work was plan planned. If it was for more than one day, then 
clear timetable should be given. Mention the need or the reason why the field visit was undertaken. Third, name and address of place visited. That is, mention the details of the geographical location, why you chose it and physiography of that area. Here you can also mention physical and cultural details. A copy of the map, satellite image, etc. can be given here. Fourth, mention the day, date and time of the visit. Fifth, observation. By observation we mean what type of method you used in collecting the different information. It could be investigation, measurement, data collected from primary and secondary sources, photographs, etc. Six, data analysis. Data collected should be presented in a very simple way. It should be represented according to the data collected. For example, if you use the observation method, then data can be represented by photograph. Seventh, Conclusions. The conclusion always gives the gist of field visit, that is, the aim, the results, and how it relates to your present knowledge and the additional knowledge from the field work. Eighth, acknowledgments means thanking all those who helped you in the field visit. Example, it could be your teachers, principal, the official head of the factory you visited, etc. Ninth, references means the source of information you used in your report. Fifth question is outline the importance of field visit. Field visit is a study of a limited landscape carried out through actual observation. The importance of field study are as follows. First, to collect information by really visiting a place. It means moving from a typical classroom environment or textbook or theoretical knowledge to a practical field knowledge. In short, it provides every student with real world experiences. Whether the trip is to a hospital, a zoo, a garden, museum or a village. With each experience, students are able to create a connection between what is happening at school and in the real world. Second, field visit is an important geographical method to understand the relation between physical and cultural factors in the region. By physical factors, we mean climate, soil, plants, rivers, mountains, weather, etc. By cultural factors, we mean the type of house, the clothes, etc. For example, in places like Kerala or Maharashtra, where the climate is hot, we find people wearing cotton clothes. So the traditional dress in Maharashtra is dhoti and kurta, whereas in Kerala, it is white or off white lungi and half sleeves shirt. Third point, field visit provides us a chance to interact with people and learn the social conditions of the region. By social conditions, we mean the situation you have in a society because of your income, your occupation or your level of education. Fourth, field visit helps us to develop the skill to compare different environments of different regions. For example, if a student visits any place with heavy rainfall, he or she will be able to figure out why the houses in places of heavy rainfall have sloping roofs and will also be able to understand why certain houses have flat roofs. So here, he is comparing the roofs of the houses in different regions with different environments. Fifth, field visit helps us to understand a region in a meaningful way. That means field visit is a multi-sensory learning experience 
and it brings the one dimensional classroom lessons to life and creates enthusiasm in students. Sixth, field visit helps us to develop our observation and analytical ability. Here, one gains the ability to collect and analyze information, acquire problem solving skills, that is, they can identify the cause and effect relationships. Seventh, field visit helps us to understand different geographical concepts. Different geographical concept means location, region, place, size, etc. Eighth, field visit helps us to understand the relation between man and environment. I've already explained you this point. That is, if you remember how man changes clothes in response to cold or hot weather. We now move on to our sixth question, which is, how will you prepare a questionnaire for a field visit to a factory? Which means what type of questions you will ask to gather information when you visit a factory. So here you need to take into consideration the purpose or objective of visiting the factory. One has to prepare questionnaires. For example, the objective here is to know the basic information about the establishment. So here you can frame questions like, when was the factory established? How many employees are employed? What are the strengths, weaknesses? Is there any certification like ISO 2020, etc.? You can then ask questions on functional hierarchy, such as names of the directors, general managers, different departmental heads, functioning of various departments, etc. For example, if you visit the production department, that is a department which manufactures things, you may ask questions related to that department, such as who heads the department? What all measures are taken to ensure the safety of workers? What all records are maintained? How frequently the working areas are cleaned? The Human Resource Department takes care of the recruitment, workplace safety, employee relations, salary, labor law, etc. So when you visit the HR department, you may ask questions like, what are the general functions of the department? How is an employee recruited? How is induction carried out? How many employees are there in a factory? What is the criteria for granting promotions? How is salary dispersed? You may also ask about transfer policies, welfare schemes for employees, disciplinary actions taken against employees, process of leaves, medical benefits for employees, etc. The finance department or the accounts department. So when you visit the finance or the account department, you may ask questions with regards to the statutory records maintained, registrations taken to run the factory, how items are built. Then we go to the marketing department. So when you visit the marketing department, you can ask questions like, who is the head of the department? What is the target? How market is analyzed? How rates report is prepared? How incentives are? We now move on to our last question of this chapter, which is what precautions must be taken during a field visit? The question simply means what measures or steps you will take in advance to avoid any unpleasant or something dangerous during a field visit. It is very important to ensure the safety of ourselves and others during a field visit. So first, always obey the instructions given by the teachers. Two, do not go to unknown remote places alone. Three, Try to understand the local circumstances by conversing with the local people. Fourth, do not harm the environment. Fifth, always keep a first aid box with you for emergency circumstances. By this children, we have come to an end of chapter one, field visit. I'm sure 
By now you've understood it properly. You can make use of this presentation to prepare your own notes. Thank you and all the best. Stay home and stay safe.